Jumbo's vessels can be tailor-made to meet project requirements. For the Anholt offshore wind farm project, Jumbo's heavy lift vessel, Jumbo Javelin, was mobilized in Rotterdam. Jumbo's own offshore certified accommodation unit was placed on board to accommodate all additional personnel. To safely secure the transition pieces during transport, in-house designed sea fasten frames were welded in the hold of the vessel. An ample man motion compensated access bridge was installed to provide safe access to the installed transition pieces. To complete the mobilization, the vessel was outfitted with Jumbo's passive heave compensators, a custom-made lift beam, grouting equipment, and a brand new taut wire reference system. The transition pieces and monopiles are fabricated in Alborg, Denmark. When ready, the supplier positions the transition pieces on the key. Jumbo can now load the TPs independently, resulting in a flexible solution for all parties. When loading the transition pieces, the vessel's crane is swung towards the TP and the remotely operated lift beam is lowered over the TP's lifting arms. Tugger winches and steering lines are used to balance and adjust the orientation of the transition piece. Once lowered into the hold and in position, the TP is placed on and fixed to the sea fastening frame. For the Jumbo Javelin, transport to site is possible in all weather and sea conditions. After the vessel is fully loaded with nine transition pieces, it sets sail to the Anhold offshore wind farm. The unique sea fastening, combined with the vessel's sailing speed of 17 knots, provides fast and reliable transport to the site. During a trip, Unforeseen events or circumstances may require a different installation sequence. Due to the way the transition pieces are placed in the hold, Jumbo is able to accommodate such changes. This high level of flexibility regarding installation sequences provides increased operational time and reduced project risk. When the vessel is in the field close to the installation location, the required dynamic positioning tests are performed. The Jumbo Javelin positions itself within crane reach of an installed monopod. The heading of the vessel is such that, in relation to the current, safe access can be provided to the installed TP. The taut wire for position keeping reference is deployed, increasing the safety, quality and efficiency of the work. The final preparations for installation commence. The lift beam and tugger lines are connected and additional items for installation are placed on the transition piece. Survey equipment is installed and activated. Environmental conditions and forecasts are assessed. Finally, the last inspection and tests are run and when everything is good to go, the sea fastening is released. The lift starts with steering lines connected to a transition piece to ensure a controlled lift from the sea fastened frame. Once the transition piece is lifted from the sea fasten frame, the steering lines are disconnected and the TP is controlled by tugger lines attached to the crane. This allows for easy guidance of the TP towards the correct orientation. During the lift, survey information is provided on a laptop, allowing the crane operator to install the TP accurately with the required heading. When the TP is positioned above the monopile, the passive heave compensator is remotely activated and the TP is lowered onto the monopile. The whole process is constantly monitored from various angles by the experienced crew. If at any given time the installation process needs to be aborted, the TP can be safely relocated back to the sea fasten position. Once the transition piece is installed, the passive heave compensator is deactivated. The tugger lines are released, and the lift beam is remotely released, and all of it is lifted from the TP. Installing a transition piece on a monopile is normally done within half an hour. After installation of the transition piece, the motion compensated access bridge is deployed in order to provide the crew safe access to the TP. Access is required 
in order to execute leveling and grouting works on the TP. The vessel has a grout mixing unit and a storage area for the big grout bags on board. The grout bags are emptied into the mixing unit. The grout hose runs all the way from the mixing unit to the TP. Outside of the vessel, the hose is supported by a support arm on the side of the vessel. Once the hose is connected, the grout is pumped from the mixing unit into the transition piece. During grouting, samples are taken to monitor the quality of the grout. After grouting is finished, the wind turbine foundation is ready for further installation works. Together with its crew, the vessel accomplished the installation of 111 transition pieces for the Anhalt offshore wind farm without any injuries and at installation speed of up to three TPs per day. Therefore, Jumbo's heavy lift vessels on DP are efficient and reliable installation tools. Jumbo, your partner for transition piece installation works.